Shoppers at this market in Nigeria say they are taking home fewer groceries but spending more money. They say even the highest denomination, which is the 1,000 Naira note, can only buy a few items. A few years ago, if you bring 10,000 to the market, you will go home with a lot of groceries. But today, that's no longer the case. Our Naira now don't have value, so we need them to do something in this country. We are tired of this uh, suffering. The Naira, Nigeria's local currency, ranks 11th worst performing currency against the U.S. dollar in 2022, according to Hanke's currency watch list. In January this year, the Naira traded against the dollar at 417 on the official market and 567 on the black market. But this month, the currency further weakened to about 436 on the official and 700 on the black market. The persistent loss of value is attributed to a shortage of dollars amid increased demand. The Naira has dropped significantly because the pressure to sell the Naira and hold dollars because companies are trying to import raw materials, capital equipment, they are trying to repatriate profits. Yeah, um, Nigerians are paying school fees abroad, medical bills abroad. Yeah, there's so much pressure on the Naira. The situation has been worsened by the drop in the export of crude oil, which is Nigeria's major foreign exchange earner. Economic experts say the government needs to float the Naira, which would mean allowing the exchange rate of the Naira and other currencies to become flexible without any government intervention. What they need to do is to do what the Egyptian government did in 2016, November. Allow the Naira to float and allow the market to determine the exchange rate, which is float, adopting a floating exchange rate mechanism so that the Naira can float freely. It will be a case of buyer and seller. A buyer, willing buyer and willing seller will determine what the exchange rate will be. But Nigeria's central bank argues that floating the Naira would lead to massive depreciation of the currency and ultimately a currency crisis. However, it says its priority is to increase the country's foreign exchange reserves to address the supply shortage. The CBN is looking to attract up to $200 billion from Nigeria's non-oil sector in the next five years through its RT200 program, where investors or businesses get up to 65 Naira as an incentive for every dollar remitted to the country. Market watchers are observing to see if such interventions will help the Naira gain more value against the U.S. dollar. Ajek Mangut, CGTN, Abuja.